Hey there, Dunbar. My name's Julianne. And I'm Avery. Stay tuned for more important updates and announcements. All this and more on WPLD, your, your source for all things Dunbar. The Green Dot Club is a club that is focused on spreading mental health awareness within the community, whether that be through projects or fundraisers. The next meeting will be on September 26th, and if you're interested, please contact sia.vash at stu.fayette.kyschools.us. Want to read and discuss books with other people? Join Book Club! They meet every other Thursday during fifth lunch in the Dunbar Den. The Quill and Scroll International Honor Society will meet on September 26th in room 203. This is for any student that has an interest in journalism. The nearly 100-year-old organization has many famous members, including Mr. Rogers. See Ms. Turner if you have any questions. The Bollywood Dance Club will be meeting after school today in Ms. Martin's room for students who enjoy learning about different cultures and dances. The TSA and STLP meetings are held on Tuesdays in the library from 3.30 to 4. Attention seniors, the Senior Sunrise will be on September 28th on the PLD football field. Come watch the sunrise on your new beginnings. Don't miss out! Educators Rising is an organization that helps students to become leaders and professionals in education. They'll be meeting in room 802 on September 27th from 3.30 to 4.30. PLD Theater will continue its auditions for the spring musical The Prom on September 22nd. Everyone is welcome to sign up. You can sign up outside Ms. Henning's room or room 902. If you're interested in doing tech, you can also sign up to get more information. We're looking for people to do makeup, hair, costumes, and work backstage during the show. Dunbar's Creative Writing Club meets after school in Miss Wilkinson's room. Everyone that likes writing is welcome to attend. Academic team practice and tryouts will be in room 502 on Mondays and Wednesdays after school from 3.30 to 5. If you are interested in joining prom committee, pick up an application outside room 606. Applications are due September 30th. PLD Lamplighter Espanol will be meeting on September 26th in room 203. We're looking for anyone who's interested in translating and creating original segments for the Latinx community at Dunbar. Anyone is welcome to join. Science National Honor Society is open to 10th through 12th graders who love science, take a variety of science classes, and maintain a 3.0 GPA in those classes. See posters in the hallway to scan the QR code to apply, and applications are due by September 23rd. This year, Fayette County Public Schools has a full week off for fall break. Let's see what Dunbar has planned for October 3rd through 7th. How will you be spending your fall break? Um, I'm probably going to like spend time with like friends and family, and that's about it. That sounds fun. How will you be spending your fall break? Uh, hopefully my family can book a cruise, and then I'll go on like a four-day cruise, and then I'll work on my skills for uh, football for Thanksgiving. Good luck. How will you be spending your fall break? I'm going to Hawaii. Like pineapples and stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Been in your fall break. We are going to take our son on a Disney cruise. Well, that sounds fun. Yeah. What will you be doing this fall break? Going to Flint, Michigan. Don't drink the water. Uh, how will you be spending your fall break? Pull up on the homies or the guys. I don't know if y'all can understand that, but yes. Uh, play the game, chill in the crib, get some money. You know. That's all you can do. Sounds fun. How will you be spending your fall break? Um, probably just sleeping, like breakfast. Good luck with practice. Thank you. That's about it. What will you be doing this fall break? Going to my football games. What position do you play? I play corner and I play kickoff. Thank you. Have a good fall break, Dunbar. I hope you come back feeling refreshed. Disc golf has been rising in popularity, and there's a connection here at Dunbar. Miss Newsom's husband owns a disc golf store in town, and there might be a new spot for a club at Dunbar. Let's see what the hype's about. So, Mr. Smith and my husband know each other, and they know each other through playing disc golf and frequent visits to my husband's shop, Bomb Disc, and he said, would you be interested in kind of co-hosting or starting a club with me? And I said, absolutely. What well, maybe decide to start a disc golf club. Well, I enjoy playing disc golf, so I have a blast. It's something that a lot of different people can do. You don't have to be an amazing athlete. Um, you just want to, you just have to like going outside and walking around with friends, so that'd be a great thing to do with young people at Dunbar. Um, but you essentially start off with a I believe it's called a pad <laughs> and you kind of do your first put off of there and there's 
different baskets and different holes. And much like a putter or a driver that you need to use on a regular golf course to um, make your shots, in this case in a basket instead of a hole, um, kind of the same rules. Certain disc flies, certain lengths. So yeah, much like golf, but with discs and baskets, much more fun. When meetings will start is really up to when the club starts. We don't have an official club yet, so we're not really sure. We're trying to make that happen as quickly as possible. We need to go through the process through the site-based council uh, to make sure that the club actually is approved. There is no there is no disc golf club at Dunbar yet. We're just trying to figure that out. We are currently writing the proposal for the club, and we just got word that the KHSAA will actually have legit tournaments for disc golf as long as there are four members on the team. So as long as we have four, we could actually compete on the state level. So that's pretty awesome. So honestly, I can't tell you when meetings are going to start. We may have an interest meeting soon, but I want to make sure that there, that there is some interest there. So we can go forward. Look out Cornhole, disc golf is coming for you. You can see Mr. Smith with any questions about forming the disc golf club. Hey Dunbar, I'm Trinity Decays and this is PLD Sports Center. Last Monday was senior night for the girls soccer team. Shout out to Riley Heasley as she led the team to a victory against Franklin County. Last Thursday, the girls' volleyball team took on Louisville rival Mail. After a hard-fought game, the Bulldogs emerged victorious. Congratulations to the volleyball team. Last Friday, the football team played Scott County. After a tough game, the Bulldogs lost, making their record 1-4. This past Sunday was the annual Bulldog Golf Scramble fundraiser. We sent Lamplighter reporters to the private Griffin Gate Golf Resort to check it out. What's up, Dunbar? I'm Parker Hadley, and I'm here at the Griffin Gate Golf Club for the 2022 Boys Golf Scramble fundraiser. Let's go check it out. That's all we have for this week, Dunbar. I'll see you next time on PLD Sports Center. Go dogs! Dunbar's theater department is presenting The Prom in spring of 2023. Let's see what the musical's about. Uh, the Prom is a musical about a, a girl in Indiana um, who wants to take her girlfriend to the prom. Prom is this hilarious, fun story, which um, with as serious as the story seems, it's funny that I say it's hilarious because it's not a hilarious concept at all but they really do make it fun. The school board says, no, you can't bring a girl, a girl can't bring a girl to the prom. And so they decide to cancel the prom altogether. A bunch of famous people from New York decide they're gonna come in and save the day and save the prom in the town. And, um, and it's all about the town learning about acceptance and love. So we are the first school in Kentucky that's getting to perform the show. Nobody has gotten these rights 
previous to now. I had seen maybe two schools on TikTok that are like huge schools that do these like ridiculous productions. We were surprised by being the first school in Lexington, Kentucky to receive them. So we will have auditions uh, later in September and there will be a Google form sign up. There will be QR codes all over the school on posters pretty soon and you sign up using the QR code, you'll get um, an audition cut, which is a small piece of music that you'll get to prepare ahead of time. If you don't have time to look over that, we will go over it at auditions, but you know, I like to feel prepared and feel confident when I come in for my auditions, so we like to give it to you ahead of time, just in case. And then you'll come in, you'll sing, and you'll dance, and then we'll have um, callbacks where we'll ask people to come in and read scenes from the show. It's a funny journey. It is sweet, it is just filled with love. I adore this story and I think this school is gonna love it too. The theater department is thrilled to have this amazing opportunity. Don't miss out to audition either today or tomorrow. See Ms. Jackson or Ms. Henning with any questions. WPLD. En español. Chris en el mic. Estamos aquí con... Brandon. Y Hugo. Leslie. Oh, Cherly. Señora Garde. Arturo. Donovan. Daniel. Hey, Daniel, ¿cuál es tu favorito restaurante hispano? A mí me gusta el Gran Taco, un especial. Uh, el Rancho Tapatío. ¿Y tú? El McDonald's. Uh, mi Rancho Tapatío. Uh, mi pequeña hacienda. A mí me gusta mucho el sabor latino. Arturo, ¿cuál es tu favorito restaurante latino? Eh, la Voz Calientes. Pues mi casa con mi mamá. ¿Y, y qué, qué comes con tu mamá? Tacos, pozole, menudo, de todo. Ay, ¿De todo? De todo. <risa> okay, ¿Qué? ¿Qué ordenas ahí? Pues... Tacos, lo que sea. ¿Qué tipo de tacos? Tacos de asada, de lengua, ¿Ah? de pastor. Okay, ¿Y tú? Una Big Mac con large fries y un large fry. ¿Qué ordenas ahí? Oh, enchiladas. ¿No más enchiladas? Sí. ¿No más enchiladas? con um, agua de horchata. ¿A carne asada? ¿Carne asada? Yeah. ¿Tacos o torta o qué? Uh, birria, sometimes. Birria. ¿Qué, qué orden del sabor latino? Ah, me gusta mucho las pupuserías. ¿Qué, qué orden hacen en aguas calientes? Eh, tacos. ¿Tacos de qué? Pastor. ¿Y de tomar qué o nada? Agua de horchata. ¿Qué orden es ahí? Unos tres burritos de asada, tres tacos de asada, dos tortas de asada. Y como tres horchatas grandes. <laughs> ¿Te pasas? <laughs> Looking for something to read? We all know that our librarian, Miss Perry, loves books. Let's check out some of her favorites. So my favorite book right now in the historical section is called Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetis. And it is set during World War II, during the sinking of the Wilhelm Guslov. Now you've probably heard of the Titanic, but not the Wilhelm Guslov, but more people died in the sinking of this ship than the Titanic. And um, this is told from numerous perspectives, so I really appreciate that about the book. From the romance section, there are so many favorites, but I'm choosing this one by Gail Foreman called Just One Day. It's about a girl named Allison who meets a Shakespearean actor in London and he convinces her to run away with him to Paris for just one day of whirlwind romance. From the mystery section, which is actually a student favorite, I have chosen Barry Liga's I hunt killers. It's about a boy named Jazz and it turns out that his father is a very notorious serial killer. So he understands crime scenes but from the view of the killer not from the view of those investigating it. Thank you Miss Perry for always helping us find amazing books. You can check out more books on the library website. Now it's time to shout out our social media follower of the week. Emma Hatcher, please come down to the Lamplighter Studio in room 203 to get your gift. If you want to stay updated, get connected, or have a chance to be our next social media follower of the week, follow at PLD Lamplighter on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Thanks for watching, Dunbar. See you next week. Bye! Bye.
I had to hold my breath because I took a big <laughs> breath in. I took a big breath in and I was like, do not do. Okay, that's just a typo. Here you go. <laughs> Why are you gonna throw the marker? <laughs> so you can fix it. Can you not? You and my shot, Ellie. <laughs> my Sharpie. <laughs> we need to put that in the show. My Sharpie. Beep. <laughs> beep. Beep. Boop. 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 Boop.